Hello everyone and welcome back to Office 365 Concepts. In today's video, we will explore an important topic in Microsoft 365. If you have ever wondered how to seamlessly migrate mailboxes from one Microsoft 365 tenant to another Microsoft 365 tenant, this video is just what you need. In this video, we are going to discuss in detail how to migrate mailboxes from one Microsoft 365 tenant to another Microsoft 365 tenant. So let's dive in. Being an administrator, you can come across a scenario where you want to move mailboxes from one Microsoft 365 tenant to another Microsoft 365 tenant. For example, when two companies are merged together. In this scenario, you might need to move mailboxes from one Microsoft 365 tenant to another tenant. And this type of mailbox migration is called cross-tenant mailbox migration. So let's take a look at this deck and let's understand how does cross-tenant migration work. In this deck, we have two Microsoft 365 tenants. Those are merged and we are planning to move mailboxes from tenant one to tenant two. So the tenant one will be the source tenant and tenant two will be the target tenant because we are migrating mailboxes from tenant one to tenant two. The first step in cross tenant mailbox migration is we create mail user accounts in the target tenant for the mailboxes that we want to move from the source tenant. That means if you have two mailboxes in the source tenant that you want to migrate to the target tenant, you need to create two mail user accounts within the target tenant. Also, you need to copy a few properties of the source mailboxes and you need to update those properties to the mail users within the target tenant. These properties are exchange grid and legacy exchange DN. The user principal name of the mail user within the target tenant should have same initials as per the source tenant and the domain for that UPN will be the domain of the target tenant and the external email address of the mail user will have the domain of the source tenant. If you are not able to understand this, do not worry. We are going to cover all these steps practically also and things will be more clear. The second step in cross tenant mailbox migration is we create a mail enabled security group within the source tenant and we add users within this security group that we want to migrate to the target tenant. So the users who are part of the security group only these mailboxes will be moved to the target tenant. This way the source tenant admin can restrict or scope the specific set of mailboxes that need to be moved to the target tenant. After these steps, we assign license to the mail user accounts within the target tenant. This license should have exchange online service included so that a mailbox can be provisioned for these accounts. Next, we create a migration application within the target tenant Azure AD and we assign migration permissions on this application. In the next step, we create a migration endpoint and organization relationship on the target tenant. This migration endpoint connects to the source tenant and enables the mailbox migration from the source tenant to the target tenant and the organization relationship creates a relationship between the source tenant and the target tenant using the tenant ID of the source tenant. In the next step, target tenant sends a request to the source tenant to accept the migration application that was created on the target tenant. By accepting this request, source tenant allows mailbox migration from the source tenant to the target tenant. And in the next step, we create an organization relationship within the source tenant that creates a relationship between the source tenant and the target tenant. So once these steps are performed successfully, you are ready to move the mailboxes from the source tenant to the target tenant. So let's move towards the lab and let's configure all these steps practically. So I have two Microsoft 365 tenants. This is the source tenant and this is target tenant. I will be migrating mailboxes from source tenant to the target tenant. So the first step is we will create mail users in target tenant. In source tenant, I have two users with name migration one and migration two, these two accounts. I will be moving these two mailboxes to the target tenant. So the first step is we will create mail users for these two accounts in Exchange Online. So go to Exchange Admin Center. Go to contacts and click add a mail user. Type the name of the user and type the display name as well. You can also verify the details from the old tenant from the source tenant. Click on the user account and here you can see the user principal name. We will copy the initial 
and rest you can see the display name as well migration one is the display name and first name is migration one so let's go to target tenant and in external email address first let's paste it here alias and user id will be the initial of the user account that is being used in the source tenant domain will be your target tenant domain and the external email address will be the email address being used in the source tenant. You can also check the email address from here as well. If it is different than user principal name, you can go to edit exchange properties. And here you can see the email address for this user account. So copy it, go to the target tenant and paste it here and type the password. and click next, click create. Same way we will create one more mail user for migration to external email address will be the email address being used within the source tenant. So for migration to it's migration to at domain.com. Go back to target tenant, paste it here alias migration to user id will be migration to and the domain will be your target tenant domain give it a password so click next and click create so we have created two mail user accounts now the next step is we will copy exchange grid and legacy exchange dn of the source tenant mailboxes and we will copy these values within these mail user accounts within the target tenant so we will go to powershell and in powershell we will connect to exchange online and here we will enter the credentials for the global administrator of the source tenant so once you are connected to exchange online you will type get hyphen mailbox hyphen identity first we will get the details for migration one mailbox so we need two properties exchange grid and legacy exchange dn press enter so we have these two details for migration one and we will run the same command for migration two mailbox and we have details for migration to mailbox as well now we will open another powershell window again we will connect to exchange online but this time on this powershell we will connect to the target tenant so here we will type the credentials for the target tenant global administrator so we are connected to the target tenant now to verify the mail users we can run command get hyphen mail user press enter we can see migration one and migration two mail users. Now we have to update these details one by one to these two mail users. So let's go to the target tenant PowerShell. And here we will type a command set hyphen mail user hyphen identity. First, let's update it for migration one. So we will update exchange grid. So we will copy the exchange grid value for migration one user from here go to the target tenant powershell and paste the value here and for legacy exchange dn you will type email addresses and the format for legacy exchange dn will be x500 colon and you will go to the source tenant powershell and you will copy this value Go back to PowerShell for the target tenant. Open Notepad and paste it here just to make sure there is no space. So we will remove this space. Now copy this value and go to target tenant PowerShell and paste it here. Press enter. So we have made the changes. If you want to verify, run get hyphen mail user hyphen identity migration one pipe fl exchange grid and legacy exchange dn 
So we can see these two values are updated for migration one. Now, same way we will do it for migration two as well. So let's run this command. Let me remove this. So we will run set hyphen mail user hyphen identity migration to hyphen exchange GUID. Go back to source tenant PowerShell. Copy this value. Paste it here. Email addresses x500 colon. Copy this value. Go to Notepad. Paste it here. And let's remove this space and let's update it here. And press Enter. Now, to verify, we can run the same command that we initiated for migration one. This time, we will run it for migration two. And we can see Exchange Grid and Legacy Exchange DN for both mail users are updated. So, in the next step, we will assign license to these two mail users. So, let's go to Active Users. Let's assign these users a license that has Exchange Online Plan included. I have Microsoft 365 Business Premium, so I'm going to assign this license to these two users. Let's assign for Migration 2 as well. So that is done. Now we will create a migration application within the target tenant. So let's go to portal.azure.com in target tenant. Go to Azure Active Directory. And go to App Registrations. Click New Registration. Let's give it a name. For example, Migration application and here you need to select the second option that says accounts in any organizational directory any azure ad directory or multi-tenant and under redirect uri select a platform will be web and here you will type https office.com and click register so this application is created let's go back to azure active directory go to app registrations again let me refresh this page. And here we can see the migration application that we just created. It will show under owned applications. So open this application. Now here you need to copy this application ID. So copy this and go to notepad and paste it here. So this is the app ID that we just created. We will use this application ID later. Next, we will go to API permissions on the left and under API permissions, you will see user.read permission. Delete this permission. We don't require this permission for now. Click remove and click add a permission and go to tab that says APIs my organization uses. And here type Office 365 Exchange Online. Click on this permission and select application permissions under select permissions we will expand mailbox and we will check mailbox dot migration click add permissions so this permission is added next we will go to certificates and secrets click new client secret and give it a name for example migration secret key and click add and we will copy this value. So let's go back to Notepad file. And here we will save this value as password. We will need this password while creating the migration endpoint. Now, the next step is to create an invitation link that we will give to the source tenant administrator. And the source tenant administrator will accept that invitation. It will allow required permissions for the application and it will enable the mailbox migration. I have the link copied on the notepad already. This is the link. You need to make some changes within this link. So the changes that you need to make within this link is first you will copy this application ID and you will paste this ID next to the client ID 
and second change that you need to make is you will type here the source tenant initial domain the source tenant is office 365 concepts dot on microsoft dot com now the target tenant administrator will copy this link he will give this link to the source tenant administrator source tenant admin will go to browser and paste this link he will log in with his global admin credentials and then he will allow and accept all the permissions and this invitation is accepted now in the next step we will create a migration endpoint on the target tenant so that the target tenant can connect to the source tenant where the mailboxes are hosted so to create migration endpoint we need to run a script and this is the script that we are going to run on the target tenant we need to make some changes within this script and first here we need the application id where it says migration application id we will paste the application id here and next change we will do here the password that we copied we will paste here the password and next we will give here source tenant initial domain so that will be office 365 concepts dot on microsoft dot com and we will give a name for the migration endpoint let's say cross tenant migration endpoint that's it copy this script go to the powershell where we connected with the target tenant and run this script here so the migration endpoint is created with name cross tenant migration endpoint endpoint type is exchange remote move and remote server is outlook.office.com because the other tenant is also on microsoft 365 next we will create an organization relationship between the target tenant and the source tenant and for this we have a script this is the script that we are going to use to create organization relationship from the target tenant to the source tenant but again we need to make some changes here now first we need the tenant id of the source tenant so we'll go to the source tenant and you will go to portal.azure.com go to azure active directory go to properties and from here you can copy the tenant id go back to notepad and paste this tenant id here next you need to change new hyphen organization relationship here we will give a name to this relationship so this will be from target to source tenant so we will copy this script and we will go to the powershell where we are connected to the target tenant and press enter so this organizational relationship is also created and with this we have prepared the target tenant for mailbox migration and now we will prepare the source tenant in the source tenant we will create a mail enabled security group and we will add the two mailboxes within that security group so go to groups add a group mail enabled security and let's create a security group here mail enabled security click next give it a name migration group click next let's add honor let's add admin go next now let's add members so first we will add migration one and we will add migration two also so for this particular demo we are going to migrate only these two mailboxes to the target tenant so that is the reason we have added only these two mailboxes within the security group if you want to migrate more mailboxes you can add all those users within the security group once it is done go next 
and here you need to type the email address for this security group so i'll give it a email address migration security group and click next click create group so the security group is created but we need the email address of this security group and we will be using this email address within this script that we are going to run so let's copy this email address go back to notepad i will paste it here for the time being next we will create an organization relationship with the target tenant and for this we will run this particular script and this time we are going to create organization relationship on the source tenant but before that we need to make certain changes within this script first we need tenant id of the target tenant so we will go to azure ad of the target tenant and we will go to properties copy the tenant id go back to script paste the tenant id next is app id so app id you can copy it from here that is already pasted and here goes the migration application id next is name of the security group either you can use the name or the email address of the security group and paste it here next let's see if we have to make any other changes we need to add the name for the organization relationship so this will be from source to target tenant and no other changes are required so copy the script go to the powershell where we are connected to the source tenant and let's run this script So with this we have prepared the source tenant as well and the last step in this process is we will create a csv file that we will be using while migrating the mailboxes so let's open excel file and here we will use the column as email address and here we will type the email address for these two users that we're going to migrate migration to and we will save this file and let's give it a name migration user and we will select csv and click save so the csv file is also created now we are good to go now we can migrate mailboxes from source tenant to the target tenant. You can initiate mailbox migration from Exchange Admin Center and from PowerShell as well using PowerShell commands. Let me show you how to do it from PowerShell and then I'll show you how to do it from Exchange Admin Center. So we have a command that we'll be using here. In this command, we will make some changes. This will be the migration batch, for example, test batch, source endpoint, will be the endpoint name that we just created migration endpoint and you can copy the migration endpoint let me run get hyphen migration endpoint this is the name of the migration endpoint that we just created we will paste it here and then we need the csv file path so you will paste the path here like this and target delivery domain will be your initial domain the target tenant initial domain for my case it is office cpt dot on microsoft dot com copy this script go to the target tenant powershell and run it here so we can see here test batch is created status says syncing and it has type exchange remote move 
and it has two mailboxes within this batch. Now, if you want to run same migration from Exchange Admin Center, you will go to the target tenant Exchange Admin Center, then go to migration, click add migration batch. You can see here we have this batch that we just created from PowerShell. And if you want to create another batch, give it a name under select mailbox migration path. You will select migration to exchange online. Click next. Select the migration type will be cross tenant migration. Click next. Next again. Here you will select the migration endpoint that you just created. Click next. Here you will import the PST file. Then you will click next. And under target delivery domain, you will type the dot on Microsoft.com domain for the target tenant. So this way you can run this batch from Exchange Admin Center. Now, if you want to verify this batch from PowerShell, you can run get hyphen migration batch pipe FL. And you can see all these details regarding the migration batch, whether it is running, not running. What is the status? Is it completed or not? You can check all these details from here. So this is how you do cross tenant migration. I hope you found this video informative and gained a better understanding of how to seamlessly migrate mailboxes from one Microsoft 365 tenant to another Microsoft 365 tenant. If you have any questions or want to share your migration experiences, feel free to leave a comment below and please subscribe to our channel and give this video a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.